Here is a Patton Heater Plus fan. I picked up from a thrift store for two or three dollars sometime over the summer. Uh, I've been using it here in the kitchen for the last few days. Finding out that the heat is not evenly distributed throughout the house gets pretty cold in the kitchen. So I've been using it in here and it seems to do the job pretty well. The thing I like about it is that the fan is a little bit stronger than uh, most space heaters like this. It just blows a little more air. Thankfully, the fan was clean. It's, I mean, it's used, but it was pretty clean. I don't have the right uh, little attachment to get those screws out. It's got those funny screws. I forget what they call those. I do have an attachment for it. I just don't know where it is, but uh, it doesn't really need to be clean right now. I just kind of wiped down the dust off the outside of it and stuff, but other than that, it's, it's really not bad. I mean, there's nothing... No dust accumulated in there at all, so that's good. This is um, model F-8. And under where it says amps there on the right, I don't know if that's a date code where it says 9009. If it is, and the date is actually September 1990, that would probably make sense. That sounds about right for this. Um, so we'll turn it on the fan first. It doesn't have a thermostat, but that's quite all right. I tried using a Holmes fan that was kind of similar to this in here first and that one has a thermostat and the problem was it would just constantly click on and off and it got pretty annoying after a little while so I switched out with this one and much happier with this one so here's fan like I said it seems to blow a little more air than most Heater fans. three heat settings. I usually use the second setting when I run it in here. It takes a little while to uh, heat the room up to where I'd like it, but that's all right. It does a pretty good job for a small unit. notice the heat on the first setting. I guess that's the downside of having a stronger fan on this is that the heat also dissipates faster. So like now on the second setting it's at least warm. quite a bit warmer on the third setting. Yeah, 
shut it off now. It's pretty good shape for an old heater. Yeah, usually what I do is, what I've been doing is I'll run it on the third setting for a few minutes and then I'll turn it down to the second setting and just kind of leave it there. And, um, I don't, let it, I don't let it run for too long, just long enough to get it where I want it in here and then usually shut it off. But yeah, pretty good little little heater fan. I have another one kind of like this, but it's a bigger one. It's uh, it's taller and it has the little air filter thing in it. It's like a whole room heater fan, heater plus fan. So I don't remember. It's got the wood accents on it. It's pretty cool, but one of the uh, the elements burned out on it. The heater doesn't work. The fan works, but the heat doesn't come on. So uh, that's kind of why I bought this thing was thought I might be able to use parts out of this to fix the other one, but this one works just fine how it is, so I don't think I'm going to mess with it. But yeah, pretty cool little fan. These things are still out there too. If you can find one, they're pretty decent. Pretty cool stuff. Thank you for watching.